right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Bahakurash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praise to our Holy Father and to his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Bahakurash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with a 100% true, according to the Bible, and her well. Shalom, Labachayim, Wabarakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And uh, pretty much the name of this lesson is going to be on, uh, if it's not given to you, ye cannot understand referring to these uh other israelite groups out here or anybody that so-called believes in the, in the in the bible man but they they don't understand it it's because the lord is not dealing with you okay anything that's in the scriptures that you know like these people can't comprehend that's pretty much basic you can't the lord ain't dealing with you who the word and calls God and Jesus Christ. This is the book of Matthew 13, verse 9. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. Right? This is talking about spiritually. This is talking about the spiritual ears, man, which is the uh the uh the understanding. Alright. It says, verse 10, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right, yeah, a parable is a is a hidden truth, okay? Or a comparison, you know. So the disciples was like, "Yeah, man, you know these these, these multitudes of people that you're talking to are Israelites. They are people. Why are you talking to them into a way that, in, into a way that they can't understand it?" Verse eleven. He said. He answered and said unto them, "Because it is given unto you, who know the to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given." Right? Because Lord Yahweh Shah said to his disciples which later became apostles, he was like, it's because it's given unto you to understand uh, uh, the, the hidden truths uh, and the 100% understanding of what I'm saying. But unto these people, the other Israelites, the majority of our people, it's not given, man. You see, that's why they can't understand it. Okay? So, Yahusha, who the word ignorant called Jesus Christ, is a separatist himself. He just said it right there. He just separated the two-thirds from the elect. Okay, so now let's stay in the book of Matthew and go to the book of Matthew, the 19th chapter, uh, verse 10. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 10. His disciples say, say unto him, if the case of the man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. He said, but he said unto them. All men cannot receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. Right, see? So, Lo Yahusha was like, listen, I believe Lo Yahusha was speaking on uh, the law of divorce, pretty much, that the uh, the wicked scribes and Pharisees uh, was coming uh, and asking him questions about. And, you know, he told his disciples, like, listen, man, you know, they can't understand uh, 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 the breakdowns or the things that I said because, you know, I'm not dealing with them, man. So that's why he said uh, all men cannot receive this saying, meaning they can't understand, they can't understand it, save they to whom it is given, except those who are chosen uh, to understand it, you know? Because, you know, to the, to the wise man, the understanding of the scriptures is plain. But unto the two thirds of our people, which represents the foolish, uh, it, it's 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 a uh, how should I say it's a uh, it's a uh, it, it's a, it's a deep dark saying to them. It's a stumbling block. Okay. So now, let's get some more precepts. Let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs, the third chapter, and the thirty second verse. This is Proverbs chapter three, verse two. It says, for the forward, the forward is abomination to the Lord, right? A, a perverse, a wicked a, a person. And this is referring to our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. 
and the Israelite foreigners, okay? You know, it also goes into, when you look at the word fro, a person that's difficult to, uh, to deal with, man. You know, a, a pretty much a nigga, man. So, acting and conducting yourself as a nigga uh, is an abomination to the Lord. An abomination is a wicked, filthy act. You know, that's why, you know, they can't understand the scriptures, right? It says, um, because the Lord blinded them from getting it. It says, but his secret is with the righteous, right? Who are the righteous, man? His men, the prophets, the servants, the prophets that he set up, you know? Uh, Lord's will be of the elect, you know, but, you know, through the spirit of Payal by Shema Shah, you know, by process of elimination, starting off with the head of apostles, oh, it's a great millstone. We are those righteous men. That's why we understand the scriptures as it's being broken down to us. Okay? So, yeah. So, we're going to go from there to the book of uh, Romans. Brothers know what I'm about to get. Romans 11, verse 7. Okay, this is the book of Romans 11, verse 7. This is the Apostle Paul speaking to the Israelites in Rome. This is the book of uh, uh, Romans 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which you seek it for. And what's, what, what, what is our people seeking? Our people seeking is the truth. They look everywhere for the truth. But when the truth is right in front of them, which is the uh, the prophets, you know, starting off with the head of apostles, the elders of great millstone, or when they run into these other groups out here that's teaching Israel, you know, they 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 uh they don't accept it, man. You see? And it says that this is the reason why. I said, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, right? Because the Lord uh is spiritually blinded the majority of the minds of our people from uh taking heed to the scriptures of their nationality, who they are. You see? That's why when you watch uh, uh mainly, you know, of course, Great Millstone, you see, uh you see the majority of our people walking, man, or driving, man, they just go right past. Okay, they don't really hearken to the words of the Lord. And if they do stick around, they stick around for a short period of time. They go on about their day. You see? So it's only for the elect. That's why I started off with the head of apostles, elders of Great Millstone. We always push the elect. The elect means the chosen. Okay? The, 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 the hand-picked, select few men to receive this understanding. Okay? And, and of course, uh, then on down to the few sisters, the Akwafi, that, that listen. Okay, so now let's go to the book of Second Corinthians, the second chapter. Um, uh, let me see. I'll go straight to the point. This is the book of Second, First Corinthians, Salakia two, verse fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah The natural man. Is a man that's of the world, a, a, a carnal man, of the two thirds of our people, man. That's why they can't receive the understanding and saying of the Bible because they're carnal. They're of the world, and they that are of the world is uh, uh is enmity with Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. I believe that's uh, James four and four. You know, First John two and fifteen, the Apostle John said, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." And if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Okay? So this is the book of back in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14. This is the Apostle Paul talking to the Israelites in Corinth, Greece. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. Yeah, the words of the Bible, right? You know, when we break down the scriptures, they can't they can't understand it, right? It says speaking about the two thirds of our people, the majority. For they are foolishness unto him. You know, it sounds crazy. You know, it sounds crazy to the two-thirds of our people that we're waiting for Lord Yahweh Shah, who are the word they're going to cause Jesus Christ to crack from the skies and come back with the chariots, the so-called UFOs, to beam us up. The Lord's going to be the elect. Okay, it, it, sound, it sounds crazy to them, man. You know? It sounds crazy that we're going to receive spiritual power you know, that uh, the women going to get back in order. You know, that this uh, the Esau, even the so-called white man, is going to be brought down. This place is going to be destroyed. You know, it says, uh, just to name a few, it says, uh, 
neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned, right? So they just can't get it. I know this is uh, one of Elder Apostle Rakah's favorite scriptures, man. Uh, the, the majority of our people are spiritually discerned. They, they, they can't under, they can't get it. Because Yahweh Bashima Shah is not dealing with them. Okay? It says, verse 15, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Right? But he that is spiritual, a.k.a. the righteous, you know what I'm saying, judgeth all things. Because Yahweh Bashima Shah is dealing with them. And, and he got that spiritual discernment on his men to discern what's right and what's wrong so he can judge according to the scriptures, according to the law. It says, yeah, he himself is judged and no man, right? Because we're doing what Yahweh Bashim al uh he told us to do, you know, and to the best of our abilities, okay? Because we're doing the things that are well-pleasing unto the Lord while the two-thirds of our people are not hearkening. So they can't really... They can't judge us because, you know, they're not spiritual, you know? So, those women that was edifying to the spirit by Yahweh, Shemel, Shah. Till next time I say, Shalom.